Hey guys, Ken here from Backpack and Light, and today I'm filming from a very wet Umeo here. And I just want to do a quick, you know, rundown of the Sodic Gear tarps. This is the 3 meter by 360 long, uh, weighs about 500 grams, and it's got a boatload of tie outs. Uh, the point of a good flat tarp is that it can be used as a basically a sheet of origami. You can do anything with the flat tarp. Uh, it's a reason I chose to the design with it was a flat tarp instead of the catery cups. Cut is just because it allows um, a little bit more flexibility in setting up. You can use it in a lot of different configurations, and you're not stuck with just you know that standard uh, tie out which is usually what you have to do with a canary cup cut uh, tarp. So it's a little heavier. It's not as taut as a catering cut can be, but other than that, you, what you get for that is a lot more, I think, uh, as compared to the, uh, the other tarps. Now this seal nylon, this is our Moroccan blue 20 denier, uh, seal nylon and that's 20 both directions and it's got about a, a button what is it called the waterproofness uh, measurement of about 2000 millimeter so it's you know it's going to be able to withstand anything you want now this is a tent because we live, live here in sweden and specifically myself i live in northern sweden and almost all of my hikes are into the northern northern swedish mountains which means Everything I want has to be able to put up with that kind of weather. And so that's why this tarp is a little bit thicker materials, it's a little bit bigger, uh, and it's also got a boatload of tie outs, as I said earlier. On this tarp, there's 23 tie outs, uh, and that just gives you a lot of stability and pretty much anything that you're gonna need it in. And also, there's one thing I hate is stuff sacks in general. I don't like stuff sacks because I always forget where I put them. Uh, they're usually made too small so I'm having to stuff things in there and really force it in and when it's wet. But at the same time I really like having the stuff sack if I can find it and if it's quickly available. So the best tents and tarps I know of is when the stuff sack is actually built in to the tarp itself and that's what we did here. We actually have a nice, a generous size tarp pocket that becomes, it's a little pocket that you can have on the inside of the tarp, and it also becomes the stuff sack. And that's just a really nice way to avoid, that's just a nice way of losing your stuff sack. So I'll go ahead and show some different angles on it. One thing I also like a lot is these kind of line lock tie outs. It really simplifies the process of setting up the tent. I can show you here how that works. So when setting up the tent, you can see the line lock here. And let's just let that out a little bit so it's easier to set up. And instead of having to play around with your guidelines while you're setting up the tent, what I have to do Put that in the ground and pull and you're done. So that's how the tie out looks up close. You can see just tightening that up is not a problem. And you can also see how that looks on the stitching up close. All of the tie outs on the flat tarp are strengthened with uh, X-Pack material, which you can see on the inside. It's hard to show it, but on you can kind of see we have a couple tie-outs on the outside. And here you can see it's an X-Pack that we use even for these tie-outs. So you can see it's got tie-outs all along in here. I can actually show the X-Pack on the inside. Now some of them are built with the X-Pack on the inside and some are with the X-Pack on the outside. It just, that's more for aesthetics, where which way we place it on the inside or outside. 
And on the Moroccan blue tent, it looks better on the inside. So we have the x pack on the inside there. On the pure black ones, we have them on the outside. You see, these are all nice little tie outs. Your standard ridge line there. And this is, as I said, a very big tarp. And you could easily fit four people in there. Here's a little closer look with the built in stuff sack. That's always going to be there. You're not going to be able to get that out to save an extra two grams. It's a fairly light setup, uh, but above all else, it's extremely practical and it makes me actually want to use the stuff sack that comes with this. And it's big enough to have your tent pegs and your guide lines and everything else in it. Even if your hands are cold, you're not going to have a problem putting everything into the stuff sack. All right, so let's go ahead and show how that stuff sack looks. So take it. Turn it inside out. You can see it's built in there, so it's not going anywhere. That's it. The Sauter Gear Flat Tarp. All right, so I hope that's been a pretty good demonstration of the Sauter Gear Flat Tarp. Uh, this is the 100% Eco Poly. It's a polyurethane made out of PET bat bottles and so on, recycled bottles. Uh, we also offer standard seal nut poly. And we chose seal poly instead of seal nylon because there's a lot that stretch in it and it's more robust and, and more waterproof. So the Sil Poly flat tarp, if you want the, we've, we've got them in different sizes and we also have some in DCF. Yeah. So we have the Sil Poly, different sizes, colors and so on, and more coming. Let me know what you think of the tarp. Cheers.